is locked up in jail. He is accused of raping a teenager. It is Friday night. I'm Gray Hall. Shari Williams is off. The big story on Action News is the arrest of a former deputy fire chief from the Belvedere Fire Company in Newport, Delaware. He's charged with rape, sexual abuse of a child and other crimes. Police say the alleged victim is 15 years old. Action News reporter Bob Brooks live for us in Newport with the latest on this investigation. Bob, what have you learned about this? Well, great. The suspect's name is Dwayne Pearson. He turned himself in yesterday. He is now in jail and he's since been terminated from the fire company. He's 39 year old Dwayne Pearson, and according to Delaware State Police, he raped a 15 year old girl. The investigation into the former deputy fire chief for the Belvedere Fire Company began this past September. Someone tipped off the state police with information a firefighter was having sex with a minor. After police got to the bottom of things, they say it was the former deputy chief and that he had engaged in alleged sexual relationship from July through August of last year. As a result, a warrant was obtained for Pearson's arrest early. Earlier this month and yesterday he turned himself in. The state police say specific details of their findings are being withheld in consideration of the victim. But Pearson now faces rape, sexual abuse of a child by a person of trust, and unlawful sexual contact. Well, tonight we stopped by the Belvedere Volunteer Fire Company. They didn't make a comment on camera, but issued a statement, quote, the Belvedere Fire Company would like to express our sincere apologies to the victim and her family. Once we received notification of the impending criminal investigation, we suspended Dwayne Pearson and we then promptly terminated his membership from the fire company after his arrest. Now, Gray, I was able to speak with the fire department president. He says that they are cooperating fully with this investigation. As for Pearson, he's now in jail being held on a $92,000 Cash bail. For now, reporting live in Newport, Bob Brooks, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray. Okay, Bob, thanks for the other.